believe it or not, you know, there are many who believe in the value of ignorance. Many. There is a particular Jamaican politician years ago, now dead, who at one point was heard to say, very intelligent person, I won't say whether it was a male or a female, right? Who said at a particular event that if we educate everybody and get everybody to be bright, who then will be the persons to cut the lawns and do these sorts of things, right? Do not for one minute think that there are not people who, who feel that there is value in, in, in ignorance, even though it is quite foolish to think that way, because the truth is that they're all, if you're so educated, you can always find new ways of doing things and people will find pleasure and joy in doing them. But you need to give people an opportunity to learn. And education is not always valued. And many societies operate on that basis. That's why they tell you, and the stories are out there, that Af parts of Africa, the Caribbean and elsewhere remain underdeveloped because Europe realized that if we were all to become developed, the narrative would end and they would not be able to get easily the resources that they need and be able to put people off to fight and kill off each other in the Congo on the basis that there's civil war when there's none. All you have is a group of mercenaries going in and killing off people and setting people to war. So there are those things which we, we cannot but bear in mind noting that it is still for us, and certainly as teachers, we are engaged in a process where we want others to learn.